In this video, we're going to take a look at the color overlay style, which is by far the easiest layer style to understand in Photoshop. Let me go ahead and just drop it onto our stick figure. Notice that currently he is a dark red. In fact, just to illustrate the effect of this, uh, this layer style, let's go ahead and make him something like green. Then I'm going to double click on the stick figure layer and drop down color overlay and you'll see that he turns a bright red. That is because the default settings for the color overlay layer style simply give you a color of bright red and a blend mode of normal. You can of course change this color to anything you like so we can set this over to blue we can set it over to green, to yellow, and you get the idea real quickly. All this is doing is giving you a, a means by which you can change the color of your layer en masse. Now, of course, you're not restricted to only using the existing normal blend mode. You can set this to anything you like. So currently we're overlaying purple uh, with our green. We can switch this over to add and get some sort of interesting color as a response. We can adjust the opacity and see how that blend takes place. Though really, in the end, if all you're trying to do is change the color of something, many times you'll find yourself just using normal. Feel free to experiment with the results of different blend modes. Now, underneath this, you have the standard couple of buttons you've seen in all the other layer styles so far, uh, which is to make these current settings the default or reset to your defaults. I do want to mention, however, that because this is an overlay, uh, we also have gradient overlay and pattern overlay, that this particular layer style is a slave to the blend interior effects as a group checkbox. You'll notice it says blend inner glow, satin, and overlay with layer before blending. Here's why that is important. If I take my fill opacity and drag this down to, as a, it doesn't matter where I move it, as long as I'm moving it, it looks like nothing is happening. What's actually taking place is that the pixels of the original image are fading away as I drag my slider down. You just can't really see it uh, because it's currently covered over with the color overlay. However, if I switch on blend interior effects as a group, because that does include the overlay layer styles, as you can see in the tooltip, now as I pull down the fill opacity, everything disappears. So do keep that one checkbox in mind, just as a reminder. However, with that, that is all of the settings that I wanted to co cover for the color overlay layer style, which will wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.